What mold do y'all want to see the Pistons be built like to be contenders? Cav, Memphis, or Boston? Um, I would say more in the realm of Cavs or Memphis, just because I feel like when they lose, like, for example, when the Cavs lost Darius Garland, they were still a really competitive team. And when Memphis lost John Morant, they're still a really competitive team. But when, like, I don't know, I guess Boston's still pretty competitive, but it just seems like they are so reliant on Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown that if one of those guys goes down, their season's completely over. At least that's the way it feels like. Maybe someone would step up. I don't watch a lot of Boston basketball, but I have seen enough games from the Cavs and the Grizzlies to know that those guys are, they're still good teams, even without their star players. And I'd rather see the Pistons. Like if they lose Cade Cunningham, I don't want them to be like, ah, crap, the season's over. There's nothing we can do. Shit. Uh, Well, I guess we're just better to start tanking for a draft pick. I don't want it to be that. I want if Cade Cunningham goes down. Yeah, it makes the Pistons a little worse, but they're still good enough to compete and fight for a playoff spot. Yeah, so I've had this conversation with a lot of people, and it's so funny that we're putting the Cavs in this conversation because I remember if you had this conversation like three years ago, Cavs fans were just so miserable because they drafted Colin Sexton and then they drafted Darius Garland and then there were jokes that they they may draft another guard before they did eventually draft Evan Mobley. Um, I think the way Colby Altman has kind of rebuilt this team is different from how Memphis or Boston did it. I think the Cavs had cap space. And they put themselves in trades where other teams that didn't have the cap space um, to help them out in the trade, like getting Carol's getting Karis LeVert, which I think Karis LeVert is a very good player. And I think that he's even kind of just a role player on that team. He's not like the main focal point of their team. Um, putting themselves in position to get a really good player in Jared Allen, who I still think is, you know, the glue to that team. I, I think, if they don't have Jared Allen, they're not a playoff team. Like, that's how highly I think of him. I think he's just defensively, he helps them out. He helps Evan Mobley. He, he's just, he's a really good rim runner. He protects the rim. I, I think Jared Allen is just a player that really makes that team go. But if I wanted to build a contender out of all those three teams, it has to be Memphis. And the reason why I'm going to say Memphis is because I look at Memphis and how quickly they turned around their team and how well they have drafted in both the first and the second round. Yep. You know, getting a Jaron Jackson Jr., who's a very good player, getting a franchise player in John Moran, uh, finding players like Dylan Brooks, getting a Desmond Bain. I mean, they have done such a good job of just drafting, finding talent, evaluating talent, and getting a coach like Taylor Jenkins, who, in my opinion, is one of the best coaches in the NBA, and no one even talks about him. Like Jesus. nobody talks about Taylor Jenkins at all. Like you, you, you have conversations with people, you know, whether it's on Twitter Spaces or you know, you're just you know talking hoops with people. People like Eric Spolstra, Greg Popovich. No one says Taylor Jenkins. Like Taylor Jenkins is a really good basketball coach. I love the way that Memphis has built their team into a contender. Um, I, I think to me, they're probably the model that the Pistons go after. Because